Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with the May Ipsy Glam Bag reveal and review. Super excited, especially since I've been waiting for fucking ever. So for those of you that don't know, Ipsy is a monthly subscription service. So for 10 bucks a month, you get five sample beauty products, sometimes full size, shipped to your house, and blah blah blah. You fill out a beauty profile, they send you the things that that you might like, by brands that you might like. They also have a program called Glam Bag Plus. This is relatively new. I'm currently on the wait list for that. So let's hope and pray that June will be Glam Bag Plus. Five full-size products. Yeah, so everything will be listed and linked in the description box below, including everything that I used on my face today. And if you want to see how I got this look today, then keep on watching. <sighs> letting this mask sit in, so spoiler alert in this list. The mask that I'm using is BioRace Intense Hydrating Spirulina Mask. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, it's algae. Yeah, so it's basically a moisturizing mask. Oh, and it says not only for women. Do I even want to share what's happening right now? So I just had a delivery of it. Gin and tonic from a naked boyfriend. <laughs> Happy anniversary. I'm fancy today. So moving on, I have Pixie by Petra H2O Skin Drink. Oh god, green tea, aloe vera, rosemary extract. It's supposed to basically cool and refresh your skin. There's a tip on here that basically says to leave it in the refrigerator overnight and then apply it on a dime size amount in the morning to get rid of puffiness. Obviously I'm not doing that today. It can be used as a multitasker so I will be applying it after this mask. Then I have the, I have no idea how to say that, some uh, Veil Primer which apparently is a primer and a moisturizer hybrid so that's what I'm going to be using as a primer today and because it, it, you know, the tip on here is to apply that before foundation so I'll be doing that. I have a new brush Fara, F-A-R-A-H, brushes. The Shade and Blend, the double-ended brush. Can blend sh shadows, contour, highlight, and basically whatever the hell you want to do. You can use it to apply concealer under your eyes and to set your under eye makeup, but we'll, I'll figure that out on the fly and see how I want to use that. And then I have the Inmove Velveteen Dream Eyeshadow and Super Base. It's a uh, light mauve shade. And the tip is saying either, you know, you can shade it under your lids using a finger and blend out with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Cool thing about this mask here is the fact that I have two of them. So it's basically time to take it off. We may as well just have a moment of truth. It has an interesting smell. It feels nice. It's definitely moisturizing. Oh, one thing that I did not mention that came with my Ipsy bag, which I will reveal, well, you've already seen what it actually looks like in the picture, but this bag is so cute. Like, look how glittery that is, if it all focus. Hello. Anyway, so I redeemed points this month, and I actually got another First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. The shit is freaking amazing. So, really excited that I have another one of those. Okay, let's get into this pixie shit here. So, the pixie skin trees. Um, I'm hoping by the time I have this edited and up that I will have tried the whole leave it in a refrigerator overnight thing. So, check the description box if you are curious. Oh, so this is like a gel. It's kind of, it's neat. There's kind of like, you probably won't be able to see very well. There's like, there it is. Yeah, I guess you can see the bluish tint. That's pretty cool. I can't believe it's almost the end of May, and I can't believe that it took me until basically the end of May. Like, I just got this Ipsy bag today. I normally get it by, like, the 12th. Between the 12th and, like, 14th. And for some reason, I'm getting it on the 21st. Like, and I'm not sure if it's because Glam Bag Plus is, like, insane, and they probably, I don't know if they have a bunch of new orders, and they're just, like, behind. Naked boyfriend. Speaking of boyfriend, so not only is today our five year anniversary, woohoo, which I had mentioned, this behind me, this is a reveal of the backdrop in black. I will be 
uploading a video where it's white. I have a few. I will be getting more backdrops at some point because like it's the material that came with the stands is pretty cheap, but that's okay. Like I'll find something to drape over it. It's fine, you know, whatever. So yeah, shout out to Tim for hooking me up here. So it's pretty cool. Okay, seriously, butt cheeks. Like. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the word that I can't say. Primer. Wow. Okay, this is like a squishy jelly, kind of. Definitely different from anything that I've used before. Now I don't know what foundation I want to use. I might just go in with my MAC today. Just to see how this acts, I will apply my foundation on camera. So I'm going to go in with the Studio Fix. Map. What's left of the sample anyway? Thank you, Will. Haha. -ha. I've been milking this sample for a while. It did take me a little bit to get to it anyway, but it's fine. Now, as is per usual, every step will not be on camera today, but all of the products that I use, if seen otherwise, will be listed and linked in the description box. So be sure to check that out. Being that I've been using this foundation especially the last like few days I've really learned how it acts on the skin with different products and I can tell that it's, it's acting different with these so that's pretty cool I'm definitely excited to try this with the other foundations that I have oh, my beauty blender isn't that damp so I'm gonna dampen this and finish blending this out I'll be back with eyeshadow all right I'm going to use the fluffy end of this brush I'm gonna use the shade sickening out of my life's drag palette and let's see how this goes it definitely picks up pigment yep I'm in love like, I'm already sold. God, that's a nice color. It's a really nice, like, transition shade. It's an even pickup. It's an even disbursement. It blends really easy. This brush, this is really fantastic. I kind of want a whole set by this company. Like, not gonna lie, because, like, I have another blending brush by them from a different Ipsy bag. Holy shit. I might be using this end for the eyeshadow, so it'll be like a wham bam, thank you ma'am, that'll be the last freaking step that you'll see. I swear to god, get out of here with those Smarties. Did you do that? No. There's Smarties in a random dress shirt. Oh my. <laughs> I love my life. I'm gonna go and dry, I'm gonna swatch it. So I will do the whole wet brush thing, and I will do a finger thing at some point. Check the description box for that. Otherwise, I will include that in June's video. I do really like that. I'll be honest with you, I didn't think that I would like this color. I didn't think I was going to like this color at all. The application is really nice, it's really smooth. I didn't feel the need to wet the brush. Although I will try that and I will try it with the finger as well, like I said. So yeah, I guess I'm going to finish this face off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is the finished look. I am extremely pleased with how this came out today. I'm extremely pleased with everything that was in my Ipsy Glam bag. Stay tuned for follow-ups with a couple of the products. Feel free to check the description box. if. I didn't get to it by the time that this is posted. Stay tuned for next month and hopefully by then I will have the Glam Bag Plus which is all full size products. So my fingers are crossed. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and until the next one.